Sun Devils fell to the Michigan Tech Huskies in the second game of the series in a game that came down to the final minutes of play. Michigan Tech struck first in the opening period on a power play after Willie Neerham took a penalty for boarding. In the second, Brinson Pashnuk skated around in the offensive third, found a clear shot and the back of the net, tying the game 1-1 to going into the third. Head coach Greg Powers compared the mentality of his team to last year's squad, saying they can't surprise teams this year like they did last season. We're not the same team we were last year. We still think we have a better team, um, but we can't sneak up on anybody. You know, and, and last year it, it was a little, much different mindset. We just kind of reeled off some wins and, and surprised a lot of people, and I think the shock value was there with other teams that – it was hard for them to bounce back the next day, but now we have a target on our backs. In the third, Michigan Tech scored over halfway through the period after a pileup in the crease and DeBrower lost sight of the puck. With less than five minutes left in regulation, the Sun Devils went on a power play, and with a chance to tie it up, ASU went to work and Willie Neerham scored off a deflection from Pashna. Misfortune struck the Sun Devils with just over two minutes left in the game. Michigan Tech had an on-man rush and scored. ASU went on a power play late, but were unable to convert, ending the game 3-2 Huskies. Power said Michigan Tech wanted it more than his team in the second game, and it showed. If our guys can get that through their heads, that, that, that nothing is going to come easy for them, we're going to start to sweep more teams. But until we, we, you know, we make that, that mental adjustment, um, you know, it, it's, we're going to continue to make it hard on ourselves. Next up, the Sun Devils will travel to Providence, Rhode Island to take on Brown for a two-game series. At Oceanside Ice Arena, I'm Allie Kruzniak, Cronkite Sports.